Bak med her nå står Ketil Solvik Olsen med Scott Rennen fra Bell. Nå skal vi få en oppdatering for å høre hvor langt de er kommet på Urban Area Mobility. Bli med inn, så skal du få se noe som garantert er spennende. Welcome to the CES 2020 Bell booth. I really appreciate you being here. This year we have brought Nexus 4EX with us as well as our Nexus Smart City driven by our new aerospace operating system called Aero OS. Uh, we're really excited. There's a big difference between last year and this year. Yeah. One is Nexus is now a four-ducted all-electric vehicle versus a six-ducted hybrid electric vehicle, which we showed last year. It's cleaner aerodynamically, which helps us in all-electric crews, and it also has four ducts that are just as safe as we were with six, because as we all know, redundancy is only a means to reliability. Reliability mm -hmm. is reliability. And then in the back, the smart city is meant to talk to people about the total technology system. It's not just a vehicle anymore. It's a vehicle, physical infrastructure, and digital infrastructure. Mm -hmm. And in order to achieve that digital infrastructure, Bell has created Eros in collaboration with Microsoft. And right now, these drones that you see flying are flying autonomously throughout the city. And our customers and clients that come here, they program in the destinations on the iPad and our fleet management system inside of Eros, running up in the Azure cloud, programs in the schedule, uh, deconflicts de the flights, and then launches the vehicle, sends them back to the charging station when it sees that they're low on battery. And it's just a really nice way to start to talk to the public about what has to happen together because we can't do this by ourselves. We need places like uh, Norway to help us out. We need the citizens to embrace the technology and realize and tell their representatives how it'll change their life. I've so, been, yeah, so what's we're up? Yeah. So we're moving from fantasy to reality really quickly now. Yes, we are. So we think the uh, fully certified system of the vehicle and the digital infrastructure can be ready in the mid to late 2020s. And you know, you think about that, it's right around the corner. Yeah. So I hope the feeling that you're getting as we enter the vehicle is that it's familiar. Yeah. Maybe like it maybe like your car, maybe like uh, uh, the airplane that you took to come over mm. from Norway. Um, and then we want you to also feel like you're connected. So we show this screen here, not so much that it'll be a part of the production aircraft, mm. but to let the customers know they still will have connectivity to the place they left yeah. and to the place that they're going. Also, to indicate the vehicles will be connected, not only to the other vehicles in the system, like other Nexus or other unmanned logistics vehicles like APT, but also to the infrastructure that we were talking about earlier. So when we think about communities in Norway, we'd like to ask them to start thinking with us about what infrastructure has to be placed in the communities. So maybe there are ground-based radar systems, relative GPS systems, um, 5G communication that can help us operate safer, which is ultimately our goal and your citizens' goals. Mm. This is our Garmin avionics suite. What you notice about the screens, they're big, so you can get lots of information if you want, but it's clean and clear because yeah. it's not always about the most information. It's about the least amount that you need to achieve safety and the mission. So welcome to our Nexus Smart City. And what you see here is a scaled smart city in order to stimulate the imaginations of citizens, mayors, governors, you know, rulers of states, so that they can get ready to prepare their cities or their communities, whatever they look like, rural or suburban or, or whatever, uh, to have Nexus vehicles and also apt vehicles um, that transport goods because remember at Bell, on-demand mobility is moving people, goods, and data. This system is actually running inside our aerospace operating system called AeroS. It's running in the Azure cloud. We're collaborating with Microsoft. And as you input destinations on um, the screen here, your choice actually stacks into an automated scheduler and it optimizes the locations, deconflicts the vehicles, and flies them autonomously. These aren't being flown by the guys upstairs. They're just the nervous engineers making sure everything works.
Det var lite av en upplevelse med vibrationer och 360 graders bilder på ögonen så var det akkurat som att vara i luft och bort Det Detta er framtiden. Detta är er absolut en del av framtiden. Jag tänker när jag när jag upplevde att det är lättare och du såg det var och du så alternativ tomtransport ja, otroligt kul. Det var jättekul och du ser ju hur effektivt det är er att boka luftrummet med att du kommer dig rask fram på på, på en enkel måte och det är er ju ett uh, areal av uh, samhället vårt som inte bokar effektivt nog och dronarna kan vara med ändra på det. Jag tänker att uh, det exempel de brukte här som var San Francisco, ett av de områden i världen som uh, trafiken är er kanske tättast i folk till befolkning och folk brukar mycket tid. Man skönnar ju att man må se på alternativa lösningar. Ja, absolut. Du har ju exempel med folk som ska olika städer och du blir i dag sittande i kö väldigt länge. Men från ett norsk perspektiv så är er det ju gärna lika spännande att se på där du inte har mycket folk men där du har mycket fjäll och fjorder som gör att det tar fryktligt lång tid att komma dit där du ska och där en drone kan kutta resetid och gärna resekostnader i framtiden. Jag syns ju lyden som de oss hade lagt på verkar trovärdig. Hvis de holder sig på det nivået, så er jeg i hvert klar. Er du? Jeg er absolut klar. Dette var en faktisk en behagelig oplevelse. Det var svagt. Det var ikke de vibrationer du var med på en helikopter. Og jeg tror hvis det er det de leverer i fremtiden, så vil folk ønske at rejse med drone. En ting vi kan være helt sikre på her fra SES, det er at Urban Air Mobility og flyvende taxier, det kommer nærmere enn folk tror. Hvis ikke vi har en plan for det i Norge for dette, så kommer vi ikke til å sakke akterut i forhold til andre land.